Hello everybody, Brian Keeler here. It's uh, mid-August in Ithaca, New York, and I'm teaching a painting class here that I'm calling uh, Captivating Cupolas or Cupola Caprices because uh, I'm focusing on this wonderful 1860 uh, Victorian house with a cupola that I painted on uh, uh, at least one other occasion, and I'll show that to you uh, in a minute. Uh, but if you come into the, uh, the painting that I'm working on here, it's a, uh, a view with um, one point perspective. This is one of my preliminary sketches that I did. I'm going to set my brushes down here for a second. And uh, uh, I did this to uh, just get the, uh, the composition uh, uh, figured out. And, uh, and you'll see down here that I have the eye level indicated. I was telling my students that the uh, first thing you need to de decide is where the eye level is going to be. And this one has a uh, vanishing point too. When I did the sketch, I was sit seated over on the grass and I adjusted my uh, uh, position when I started the painting, but it uh, showed me the basic composition and the, uh, the massing in of, um, of the forms. Uh, and um, I did this sketch last night about uh, seven o'clock and uh, seven ten right there, you can see. So it had this uh, backlight coming. The sun was setting right here over the, uh, over the tree. You can come back to the painting here. And uh, I've uh, simplified it uh, in terms of value as a distinct value breakdown of uh, light and dark, uh, the house and the tree and the, and the, and the hedgerow all being one uh, uh, kind of mass that I'm thinking about. And I'm starting to break it down further into uh, values. It has a ways to go yet, but it has a nice start. It's right on schedule and uh, a lot of details with these cornices up here but i have them suggested and the positioning is all uh, all good it's just a matter of articulating and uh, doing the uh, the details so i'm going to uh, show you another painting if you follow me over here that i did uh, of the same building uh, i did it about 20 years ago actually and it's done as a diptych you'll see it's a two panel painting of the same house uh, done in uh, uh, January, so it was, a, it was a winter view with the late afternoon golden light. Maybe go in on it. To, and it has this uh, little uh, cat that came out on the roof while I was doing the painting, so I included that cat coming out on the roof. So uh, this is the same same house, but from a, a different angle. Looks like they might have moved that uh, one uh, chimney there because that chimney is not there. We're going to go over and look at one of my students here. This is Shop A. You know, a wonderful painting. Come around here. Look at Shao Pei's uh, painting. Maybe you can come here in front and let her talk about her painting. Hello. So you want to explain about your, your painting? Oh, hi. Um, I I tried to paint this view on the street, and I found the um, the tree with the canopy above the, the roof, and then uh, the house falling down that produced a very interesting composition. And so this is what I'm trying to use using very loose brush and stroke to try to capture the light and the feelings of the atmosphere. And you had the flag as the, one of your uh, main interests there. You're <laughs> saving that for the last part there. Uh, hopefully, I'll uh -huh. put it in. Yep. But it has a very nice start, very, very mm -hmm. brushy and uh, uh, nicely organized. Uh, nice uh, nicely too. <laughs> Thank so you. great job, Shape. Thank you. We're gonna walk over here to um, my other student, uh, Roseanne Vita. What town are you from, Roseanne? Uh, Kingston. Kingston? Kingston. She's from well, Kingston. Port, uh, or Port Ewing would be better, Port Ewing. Oh, okay. And she's got a wonderful painting, wonderful mm -hmm. color. Uh, I helped her with the drawing. She's got the nice uh, composition here. I'm gonna zoom in on it. And lovely, uh, uh, color with this uh, blue violet and uh, and it, one of the things that's working about it is the uh, value distribution uh, the values are, are working right meaning the uh, the shade uh, the the hue or not the hue but the uh, the value of the trees is all working well so it's it's nicely organized and uh, nicely composed I have, we'll have this uh, uh, flower pot in the foreground and I like the way she's masked it and nice uh, calligraphic uh, brush strokes so Anything you want to say about the your painting? Well, it's an experience to do it outside. I mean, it's um, you you see things, but how do you translate it? Yeah. So it's a challenge, but a lovely challenge. Happy to be here. Okay, great. 
we're gonna walk down here to um, to Lynn. Lynn is from uh, Hammondsport, New York. I'm doing a, a video, Lynn. <laughs> we're gonna come in to look at what you're uh, what you're doing here. Oh, beautiful! She's got a, a great start, uh, a <clears throat> nice, nicely composed, and uh, on the. Uh, it's almost like a, a grisaille painting done in value, but uh, it's, it was a complicated um, uh, perspective uh, issue here, but she's got the uh, drawing done nicely and with uh, this two-point perspective, so we have two, uh, two vanishing points on it, and uh, she's only been working on it for a couple hours and just starting to, uh, to mass in the, uh, the tones here. So uh, Tell us a, a little bit about yourself, Lynn. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Hammondsport. And you're a sculptor by trade? Yes. And you studied at the New York Academy? I did study at the New York Academy, yes. Okay. And I just met Lynn last week or the week before while I was painting over on the day road north of uh, Hammondsport. Hammondsport, yeah. So, I took a lake, yeah. <laughs> so great job, Lynn. Thank you. So this is a plein air captivating cupolas in uh, Ithaca, New York on the Cascadilla Street. Uh, Look for these paintings, um, at least the one that I did on my, my website, briankeeler.com and the northstarartgallery.com. Okay, thanks for your attention. Cheers.